from Hotel Numero De. That's French. We had lunch, got into a taxi, I fell asleep in said taxi, and arrived at the Crown Plaza, where we are staying for the second half of our trip. Two more nights. <laughs> it's not worth vlogging, even just like normally whenever we check into hotels he's always like close your eyes let me go in first I'll surprise you and this time he was just like just walk in so you're gonna hate it so I wasn't disappointed because I knew I'd hate it he told me it's a crown plaza I've never stayed in a nice crown plaza they're always just really shit hate the decor as well they're always like really depressing um it's okay it's fine the bathroom is very clean and it looks brand new that is literally all I care about I'm so tired today though we've just checked in and then we got a shuttle bus and a bit, a few bits of paper from this hotel. We're gonna have a read, little read on the balcony while I eat my peach that I stole from breakfast at the last hotel. And then we're gonna head back into the city centre and just like maybe wander around today, right? Yep. This is our view, by the way. It's not very exciting. Mm. Not quite a pool and whatever, whatever. <laughs> it's the most random thing I'll ever say. But I've had loads of fruits since we've been here and peaches in Italy maybe they're just in season I don't know peaches in Rome they're amazing they're so so sweet we need to buy some more peaches today oh just love them morning we were up very early this morning we've got our shuttle bus to Vatican City but we're nowhere near the museum we want to save our legs when we're actually in the museum so now we're gonna like waiting for a taxi because it's like a 20 25 minute walk at least um from That's where it. our shuttle bus dropped us off it's very weird so we're just gonna grab a, like a cab and go to the vatican and hopefully like try and get some tickets outside because they were sold out online so that is our first off of the day we're doing loads of sightseeing bits today so i've hardly got any makeup on um it's actually really nice at the moment like it's really like shady and not like disgustingly like i'm sweating all over the place weather which is perfect but obviously it's like 9 a.m and later on this afternoon it will get really hot so not looking forward to that. I'm back. really hot. His back is like completely uh, drenched in sweat. Thank you very much. Horrible. All I want to do is stick my face in the freezer or jump into the pool. Um, totally wouldn't recommend this, like, in the summer. It's terrible. if you can see me um, and I'm probably dripping in sweat so I apologize but we've just left the Vatican the Sistine Chapel was beautiful I did get a few sneaky shots even though you're not really allowed to I didn't know this until after I got told off and the man told me to put my camera away it was totally worth going to the Vatican just for the Sistine Chapel but um, I'm gonna put into a blog post how you can skip all the like, boring bits because it did take us about almost three hours and now we found a shortcut into St. Peter's Basilica 
Is it? Um, there's a very well known shortcut. If you take the exit that you're not supposed to take for guided tours, you can skip the queue. There's also loads of lies online you have to cover your shoulders if you're a woman but there's people outside selling scarves and they were like telling me that i'm not going to get in i chanced it so i don't have sleeves as you can see it's just like a sleeveless jumpsuit that i'm wearing and people tell you that women have to cover their knees they don't it's just men so yeah My new favourite dish, cashew and pepe. We just got sea bass. Yeah, just having a quick bite to eat before we head to the Coliseum now. Yum! I've never, I can't even tell you how much we sweated today, but we saw most of the sights. We headed back to the hotel because we just couldn't cope anymore. <laughs> it's now 6.30. It was like 37 degrees today and like everyone was just sweating. It was just, Rome is just too hot in the summer. Um, even my cousin who like loves Rome messaged me saying you'd love it more in February, which is very true. <laughs> I love everywhere in February to be fair. <laughs> Maybe not Oslo though. <laughs> anyway, um, we have like one hour to make use of the pool in this hotel because um, it shuts in an hour and a half. And we'll be back in our room for 7.30. We booked the bus for nine, which is the very last bus, shuttle bus that goes from this hotel to the city centre. You have to pay one euro 50 per person, but that's still better than obviously getting a 15 euro taxi. So we're gonna check out the pool, dip in for like an hour, and head up and get shower and get ready for dinner tonight. Dinner and drinks. Yep. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh yeah! Cheers. We went swimming. Um, it, the pool wasn't that great. Like there were so many like splashy, jumpy, uppy, downy kids all over the place. We've been there for like half an hour, <laughs> just came straight out. Wow, look at my highlight. Um, it's very hard to see when you're doing makeup in this room because it's so dark. Um, so that's why I'm just, oh God, Jesus. Um, I've got my very minimal makeup today just because I can't really be bothered. But we have four little bottles of Aperol to finish before we leave and tonight's our last night. So we're making the most of it. I'm kind of ready to jump on the bus just need to sort my hair out once it's dried a little bit more. So we're gonna have a few Aperols, our aperitivo before we jump on the last bus at 9 p.m. from this hotel to the city center and then we're gonna find somewhere for dinner yep. maybe have another Aperol and then yeah cheers cheers oh my god guys <laughs> Nishi's drunk again we had four bottles of those little bottles of Aperol spritz left from the big stash that we bought like on our first night and we have to finish them because it's our last night here so of course we finish them now i've got five minutes for the bus we're gonna go oh, i need to pee as well actually um we finished them and it was just so good and i really want to take them home but i can't because we've got hand luggage only because somebody wouldn't pay 80 pound extra <laughs> to check a bag in but all british airways flights have been cancelled this week we're flying british airways by the way what? Yeah, because of Mercury being in retrograde or something, oh, um, their yeah. systems were down. So maybe our flight will be cancelled tomorrow, then we can drink more Aperol. Oh, isn't that schoolboy error? What's a schoolboy error? I was trying to find out, I forget why that's not working, charging, right? Yeah. So I took put it from one socket to another one, right? Yeah. To another. Yeah. And then there's an on-off switch here. So you 
we can turn it on? Nope. <laughs> Did she try to go for Ow! Can't go. Oh, you squashed that mosquito bite on my palm, didn't you? I saw the palm. We need to go. Bus, bus! Stagioni on them, which means four seasons. Yes, we got to Missy. That's a big portion. It's huge. Oh, we got the last one as well. Yeah. God, this little internet cafe thing brings back so many memories. When I lived in Florence, I mean these were everywhere back then, there was no internet on phones, but there was one at the bottom of our street where our apartment was and I spent all my time in one of these, paying for the internet, like on, it wasn't even Facebook, I don't know what it was, but whatever. Oh, so many memories. Good morning everyone, happy Friday. I don't know why I sound so cheery. It's our last morning here in Rome. We're just packing up. Just was a little bit early. Um, well no, just on time. I'm a little bit late, so he's gone to check out. Oh, I took the last of my bag out. Should not be wearing this skirt, I can easily rip it. So yeah, we were supposed to check out five minutes ago, but I'm just going to head down to reception now. I'm having like a no makeup day, because we had a late check out till 2 p.m. So we kind of made the most of it. Um, had a little nap, just hung out, you know, like had breakfast and all the rest of it. So now we're gonna check out and we have like three or four hours, I mean, maybe not even that actually, to go and wander around the city before we need to head to the airport. Like we have, an evening flight but it's not like the latest possible flight it's at a reasonable hour so i'm not going to vlog much today we're just going to go for a little walk around the city maybe see if there's any shops or anything that we want to buy which there probably won't be um and just have a little mooch before we leave Aww. Aww. i feel sorry for them
my kind of airport. Oh my god. How cute is this? It's a travel kit. This is exactly what I need in my life. It's just so cool. I can't get over it. I'm trying to find these like miniature bottles so hopefully I can like buy them and take them home like with free security. Look at this! It's amazing! Just ignore the state of my sweaty face honestly. We're now at the airport super early which is such a nice treat. We spent ages just like walking around for the duty free shops and just chilling basically. Also, what's great? Can I tell them? Yep. Okay, so we are flying with British Airways here and back and Jas is like a, a club member of some description. So when we, like we didn't pay to check in any bags, we had hand luggage only, but it's worth bearing in mind that hand luggage from normal flights, like not Ryanair or EasyJet, is a lot bigger, like the cabin suitcase. But we have like every size of suitcase known to man. So we have quite a lot of space in our luggage and we have like loads of like liquids on the way back as well. So we just shoved everything in our hand luggage. We went to the desk because he's like a club member. Um, I was, we were like, can we voluntarily just check in our bags? Just so that we're not walking around with them at the airport. And obviously we're just going home. So even if like they lose our bags, which hopefully they don't, like we're just going home, so it's fine. And so basically they just let us check in our bags for free, so we're not carrying them around the airport. It's great. I'm really disappointed because you can't buy the little pre-mixed bottles of Aperol in the airport. Like I checked everywhere, um, and they just you just can't buy them anywhere. So if I'd have known what we if I'd have known we were allowed to check our bags in, I would have bought them and shoved them in my suitcase, but I thought I had like a liquid allowance, so I'm very disappointed about that. Anyway, no time to dwell. We found like a Japanese restaurant and they have one vegetarian dish, vegetable fried rice. So that's basically what I'm getting. At the airport, we've got like a couple of hours to chill. It is now almost 2 30 in the morning we've literally just got in i'm gonna go have a shower not wash my hair I feel so sticky and gross <laughs> so i'm gonna end this vlog here i really hope you enjoyed watching this if you did then please give it a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button because it means so much to me but thank you so much for watching i'll see you very soon with a new video bye